In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a plate linearization in the Sierra workflow. In the Sierra workflow, plate linearizations are handled in the Calibration Manager program that comes with the Sierra bundle. That's located in the Startup menu under the Zytron folder, Client Toolset, and you'll see Calibration Manager. Log in as you normally would to Sierra. And what you'll see up here is you'll see five different icons. And the icon we're interested in in this video is the recorders and proofers icon. So once you select it, you get this window. And first thing you do is choose the recorder or proofer you were going to linearize. I will use the TIFF export and then we'll hit the calibrate button. So in this window, what we'll do is we'll choose our resolution first and we're going to create a group and you will name the group whatever makes sense to you uh, the reason we create a group is we want to apply this linearization over across many different screen sets I will hit the browse button and I will choose the screen sets that I'm going to add to this group and now I've got two screen sets in this linearization group I will choose the or the screen set that I use most often and I will hit the expose button. And what this will do is it will send a scale out to your CTP device, which you will expose, and then you will develop it. And using your plate reader, you will read the corresponding boxes on the plate that match these. What you will do next is type in those values, and I will do that now. When I finish typing my values in, I will hit the apply button and this will create the linearization curve. To verify that my curve is correct, I will hit the verify button. This will send another scale to your CTP device, which you will again expose, develop, and take your plate reader and you will read it. And what you want to do is if you're not happy with any of the, the readings in any of the the boxes what you'll need to do is hit the reset button and then type all those numbers in again whatever your boxes read that's what you want to type in there you will apply that and then verify it again do the same drill where you expose develop and read and then you should be good after you're finished and have a good linearization you will basically close out of the calibration window and you can close out of the Calibration Manager program. To verify that you have a linearization that you're using correctly, if you look in the queue, you'll see first and foremost that there are two files, and those are the two linearization files that I sent. Uh, they are not necessary to keep. We can delete those. And then we are going to open up any job you have in your system. Select your plate icon, select your screening icon, and you can scroll down and see that the linearization that we just created is in fact being used.